What would you do if you stumbled across $100 million worth of lost treasure when exploring a few caves on vacation? For us, it's hypothetical. But for some fortunate few, it was an all-too-real situation. Sometimes people get lucky, and sometimes we strike gold literally. From America to Africa and everywhere in between, thanks to the discovery of record-breaking treasures in tunnels and caves, explorers' lives have been changed forever. Our treasure hunt begins over in Israel. At 1,412 feet, or 430 and a half meters below sea level, the Dead Sea is the lowest elevation point on land worldwide, and its waters are so salty that you can float in it. But that's not its only claim to fame. We can't forget those sought-after scrolls. The infamous Dead Sea Scrolls were found in the mid-1900s. If you haven't heard of these artifacts before, here's the gist. They are written manuscripts that dive into the ancient world in the Holy Land. The first of them was accidentally discovered in 1947 by a shepherd boy who was exploring a cave at Kerbat Qumran. That's right about here, on the northwestern shore of the Dead Sea. After that, people kept stumbling across more and more scroll pieces from the 1950s up through the 60s in neighboring areas. With the collection growing, we were able to get an insight into a variety of ancient outlooks, including sectarian writings, which were equivalent to a list of ancient rules or community guidelines. While the scrolls themselves are priceless artifacts that show us how long-gone civilizations went about their days, they're worth so much more than just information. Why? Because they contain treasure maps. Yup, treasure maps. Look close enough at the scroll translations and you'll discover that they point to the location of 63 gold and silver treasure deposits buried all over the country. The math's been done, and the first treasure is supposed to be worth $27,466,986. That's only the first treasure. There are 62 more treasures over to Mexico now. We all know Chichen Itza, right? It's one of the wonders of the world, and it's slapped on every second postcard and advertising campaign for the Yucatan Peninsula. But there's far more to the landmark than meets the eye. Beneath the iconic Mayan pyramid lies a system of twisted and turning dark tunnels. And within that, archaeologists in 2018 discovered a cave brimming with, oh yeah, you guessed it, lost treasure. The cave is overflowing with more than 150 incredibly valuable artifacts that likely have been untouched by human hands for more than a thousand years. The explorers, pinching themselves, found a few incense burners, some vases, and a handful of ancient plates decorated with the faces of past-time gods and religious icons. The huge find is believed to be one of seven sacred chambers within the tunnel network known as Balamku, which translates to Jaguar God. You heard that right. That means there could be six more treasure chests waiting to be found. So what are you waiting for? Let's head back up to Israel for a moment, because as we know, there is plenty more to be found. Unrelated to the Dead Sea Scrolls, members of the Israeli Caving Club uncovered a rare cache of silver coins and jewelry dating all the way back to the reign of Alexander the Great. They found the hall in 2015, but a couple of silver coins were minted in the late 4th century BCE making them close to 2,400 years old. Imagine that. One side of the coin was an image of Alexander the Great, ruler of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedonia, and the other side was a depiction of Zeus, god of the sky, chilling on his throne. The adventurous men spotted the ancient artifacts hidden away in a stalactite cave in the Galilee region of northern Israel. One of the men, Hen Zakai, noticed something shiny, inspected it, and then, as you can imagine, almost had a heart attack when he realized the extent of what he had just stumbled across. There were rings, earrings, and bracelets, all preserved and intricately detailed. You could put a price of hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars on these coins, but according to most museums and historians, they are simply priceless. All right, time for a quick trip over to China. It was here near Xi'an that a group of Chinese farmers in 1974 uncovered what is now considered one of, if not the most important archaeological treasure in all of Chinese history. As the story goes, the seven-man team was digging a well when one of their shovels struck the head of a buried statue. At first, they thought it was a single ancient Buddha sculpture, but it wasn't just one. It was 8,000. And it wasn't a Buddha sculpture. They were 
life-sized terracotta warriors. The army of soldiers plus a handful of horses and chariots were supposedly built way back in the 3rd century BCE intended to protect the emperor at the time, Emperor Qin Shi Huang, when he fell into the afterlife. One terracotta warrior on display at the Franklin Institute in Philly is estimated to be worth $4.5 million by the FBI. Doing the math, that would put the army's value at $36 billion. Wow! Hands up, who here has ever heard of the Yamashita treasure? Nope. Well, it's a collection of near priceless loot that was reportedly stolen and then stashed throughout underground tunnels and caves in the Philippines, just before Japan surrendered to the US in 1945. If you're wondering what Yamashita means, the fighters were commanded to hide the treasure by their commander at the time, General Tomoyuki Yamashita. This guy right here. The treasure included gold bars and a variety of gemstones worth close to $22 billion, according to History.com. As luck would have it, an amateur treasure hunter named Rogelio Roxas spearheaded the excavation and struck gold. In 1961, he met with a man whose father served for Japan and drew him a map showing where the so-called Yamashita treasure was hidden. Then, in 1970, Roxas spent seven months straight searching the area and digging before finally his eyes lit up. Highlighting his discovery? A one-ton giant Buddha made of solid gold. Not everyone believes that it was actually found, though. Anthropologist Piers Kelly, for example, insists that Yamashita treasure is a myth, conjured by locals with the sole purpose of boosting morale. We'll let you decide. Next up, we've got a few blessed archaeologists from Cape Town's South African Museum, hidden in the Blombos Cave, high above the rocky ocean shores. About 180 miles east of Cape Town, Christopher Henshelwood and his team uncovered artifacts that date back some 77,000 years. We're talking tools made from stone and carved bone that featured inscriptions, indicating some sort of ancient communication and symbolic meaning systems. Originally, society thought that humans originated in Europe. But these unusually sophisticated artifacts have just proven otherwise. It also shows that this way of human thinking with carvings and symbols may have originated at least 35,000 years earlier than we all previously understood. Okay, speaking of Europe, let's mosey on over to the Baradla Cave in Ogtelek National Park. That's in Hungary, by the way, and if you've ever been to Budapest, you'll know that the country has an amazing network of underground cave systems. Back in 2016, fortunate archaeologists from Etvos Lorand University were exploring the nation's most well-known stalactite cave when they came across something that would change not only their lives, but the discourse of local history. Their metal detectors started going berserk and led them to ceremonial clothes that date all the way back to the Bronze Age. That wasn't all. They also found 59 items made of bronze, hidden under rocks, as well as beautifully decorated ceramics. What makes this discovery all the more amazing is the fact that this cave is a popular tourist attraction. Thousands of visitors walk in and out every day. Had those snap-happy visitors been welding metal detectors themselves, maybe they would have found the multi-million dollar collection instead. If you're a lover of famous art, or if you're a dedicated Simpsons fan, then you'll surely recognize this next fascinating discovery. It's the Venus de Milo, an iconic armless statue that spent centuries buried on the Greek island of Melos. That's this one, right here. One lucky peasant changed that. His name was Yorgos Kentrotas, and he stumbled across the top half of the 80-inch sculpture in 1820 while trying to salvage a few marble building blocks from a pile of ancient ruins and rubble. The find could have been even more valuable had Venus not had her arms and jewelry stolen. An expensive bracelet, a pair of earrings, and a headband were all originally attached. Even still, these days the beloved statue is thought to be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Quick geography quiz. Where is Lesotho? Anyone? Anyone? It's a country encircled by South Africa, and truth be told, most people have never heard of it. But when you see what was dug up in the Letsang mine in Lesotho in early 2018, it'll be hard to forget. Take a look at this stunning, shimmering diamond. We are not even kidding here, it is the size of a tennis ball. As a ginormous 910 carat decolor diamond, it sold at a price of, hold on to your hats people, 40 million. It was officially the fifth largest gem quality diamond ever recovered in history. The CEO of the awestruck company, Clifford Elphick from Gem Diamonds, was gleaming with joy, and fair enough too. He came out and said that over 60% of the revenue from the diamond would flow back into the nation of Lesotho, making this not just a lucky personal discovery, but a fortunate one for the entire nation. 
Sometimes we find artifacts, sometimes diamonds, and sometimes literal pirate-style treasure chests stuffed with gold. But compared to our next accidental discovery, they're all relatively small. This, folks, is the Derenkuyu Underground City. It's not the location of our next find, it is our next find. Found over in Turkey's Cappadocia region, you know, the one famous for the hot air balloon filled skies, there are actually dozens of underground cities in the area. How do they get there? Hand carved by ancient civilizations out of solidified volcanic ash. Perhaps the most elaborate of all of the subterranean systems is Derenkuyu which is the underground equivalent of an 18-story building. There's room for you, your family, and 20,000 other people to live in this place. That is amazing, but the way it was accidentally discovered is even more incredible. In 1963, a local man mistakenly knocked down a wall while renovating his house, discovering a secret passageway. He followed it and found that it opened up a vast network of stone tunnels and chambers, a real-life Narnia. Usually we'd wrap it up here, but we've got a quick bonus entry that will blow your mind. In January of 2020, a man from Owoso, Michigan named Howard Kirby went out to buy a secondhand couch. After a few weeks of sitting on it at home, he thought it was a bit uncomfortable. It turns out that there was a reason for the poking and prodding. The cushions, instead of being stuffed with fluff and feathers, were packed to the brim with cold hard cash. All up, $43,000 was hidden in the cushions. Now, believe it or not, Howard returned every single last dollar of it. Would you have done the same? Let us know in the comments. That's all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay safe, everybody. Thanks for checking out The Richest. We'll see you next time.